Okay, guys. This is hard. Getting these shelves redone. Let me show you why. It is a challenge. There's not a, light, a lot of light here, is there? It is a challenge getting into these little screws here. But I recommend getting one of these little guys. It is much easier than trying to put this guy in. Because you end up at an angle. And I'll show you. Let me get this. Also, when you have bifocals and you're older. So, now you don't have a lot of room. Because it's pretty much straight. Right? Um, let me see if I can get some better light. Okay, so let me see if I can explain here. Um, trying to get a little screwdriver. So, first of all, these are basically... These are little aluminum pieces that are rectangles that have to go in. They're not square. If they'd made them square, then it wouldn't matter which way you had them, but you have to try to get them in. And that's not so hard. You can actually hold it with your finger and kind of guide the screw in. But getting this screwdriver, you can get a little bit of a purchase, but honestly, this little thing much easier, has a little ratchet, you can get in there better. I just loosened it. Now, the right handed people on the left side of the drawer is going to be easier than trying to do the other side here, because um, you kind of got to get in a little awkward and kind of got to tighten up. So, I have just gotten it barely connected. I gotta do this one over here. Let's move you guys over here. I've got it barely. I'm just gonna get it a little tighter so that I can slide it up and down so that I can try to fit the wolf pack in here. My idea is I want to get a wolf pack on the bottom and a wolf pack on the top, and then I want to have a little bit of a shelf at the very top for tie downs or whatever, but it's at the very top. So let's back out and take a look. So if we back out, this bottom area will actually hold a wolf pack, but I don't want to put a wolf pack in here and then try to put my arms in because then I, it's going to be awkward. It'll just be awkward, trust me. So what I found out is if I take this box and I turn it sideways and I put that little Reynolds wrap thing on top of it, it's the right height. Now, I'm sure guys like Randy over at the Lead Motor, uh, Lead Dog Motor, Lead Dog Motorsports, um, in the Cavasu, I'm sure he's got a couple of two by fours that he's got properly cut and you can put underneath and... Had I had some two by fours, I might have done the same thing, cut them out, and then just had them like a little jig uh, and put them in place. But I don't. Um, and so this is the next best thing uh, a wooden box <laughs> and rental wraps heavy duty. Um, and I am level. Uh, so I'm using a level. Uh, I did make sure that the trailer's level, um, both on both. Uh, axes, right? So, um, or close enough. Uh, we're not looking for perfection, but um, man, this is this is a challenge. So, um, it'll be interesting. I'm using a headlamp to see in there because, well, <laughs> that there's light, and in my garage, unfortunately. That uh, that would do no good anyway. But unfortunately, I am gonna have to get a new ballast. That one's dead. Uh, the others work fine, but that one's dead. Um, and to give a report on the tire. So tires are doing good. I do have like there's this little bit of of uh, 
fabric that's loose down here. It's it's kind of the protects the firewall, or it's part of the firewall in the inside of the well. Um, and I just need to get that to stay back because the tire does rub on that little 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 piece. Um, as you can see, I've again I got some dirt up here. I'm sure because the offset is out here that I'm going to end up with lots of little chips down the, the side there. Um, I am thinking fender flares, um, but I'm also thinking I might want to do uh, what I've seen some other guys do, which when I get uh, thinking of getting rock sliders to replace those step sides um, or the side steps there. Um, and uh, I've seen some guys take on like the bottom half of their truck and they do the Linux uh, Rhino kind of spray on it. Um, I've actually thought about painting the whole truck in that, but uh, I think that would be super expensive. Um, I might not look exactly the way I want to do it. Although it would be cool if I did the Linux. I know they have it in a, you know, like an army green, an olive, olive green like we have for our trailer. Um, and that might be interesting to do. Um, but we'll see. Did take it out on the trail the other day. And I don't know if you can tell, but my uh, tonneau cover definitely is not um, dust proof. <laughs> and everything that's back here has got a big, thick layer of dust on it. So... Oh, the challenges, the challenges, right? All right. Um, and also thinking about getting rid of this uh, jack. One for, there's another one that is a Australian company. I understand there's some pretty uh, heavy drilling that needs to take place to, to get that installed. Um, it's not just the four bolts that uh, we have on this jack stand, but I don't like this um, kind of... I don't know if you guys can tell from this, but that doesn't feel like, I don't know, uh, it's supposed to be okay, I guess, but I roll it around in the garage here, and because we're sitting in the middle of the garage, bay one, middle, middle bay of the two bay uh, garage, and so we wiggle it around, I can't actually fit it. I can fit it in the back um, with barely any room, which means then all the other stuff that I need to get access to back here, I can't get access to. But the idea of being able to come home from a long day of camping and doing everything else and then just being able to pull straight in, and I might just pull straight in with the truck, although I don't know how to get out. Honestly, it's tight, tight squeeze. I really think I need to get rid of that cabinet um, my workbench is there I don't know not very organized at the moment um, but the idea here is to get the these guys these wolf packs and and funny story about these guys the wolf packs they're pretty tough I know they're tough because when we were when we first got the trailer um, and we had it in here and I was figuring, trying to figure out the shelves and I hadn't started on the shelves yet. I put the wolf packs up on the top. And then I needed to go get the trailer inspected. And so I ran home from the motor vehicle division, um, hooked up and forgot that those wolf packs were on the top. And I had three side by side. Um, and at some point down the road, I looked in the rear view mirror and saw three wolf packs fly up into the air and hit the asphalt. So my brand new wolf packs, um, well, they got a little road damage. Um, whatever. They're tough. Um, then I had to try to turn around. That was interesting. 
for those of you on in Lake Havasu, you know that on London Bridge Road, you could turn around, but then you end up in the dirt and the sand. And so I pulled off the road, pulled off the side, I turned around, uh, gone back. This is before I had the new tires. I had the stock tires, more more like street tires. Um, and then I got stuck in the sand. That was fun with the trailer. Popped it in a four-wheel drive, pulled it out, no problem. Um, range is pretty tough. But uh, yeah, that was fun. So I'll get back to this and I'll show you guys kind of the fruits of my labor after I get done with it. Um, we'll see what happens. All right, talk to you guys later. <laughs> oh my. That's a tight fit. That, uh, the, trying to do that top shelf. Um, no, I got it. You can see I'm level. But you can see that there's... Oh, you can barely... You can barely get your arm in. I ended up putting the wolf pack in because my little box and thing didn't really... Didn't really do as well as I... I was hoping it would do. There's more of the road damage you can see. Um, tough boxes. Now, one thing to take note of um, for everybody with the expedition the Wolf Pack needs to lip over. These little, let me get the light down here, needs to lip over these little screws. What it does, it actually helps hold it in place. But if you just push it in, and let's do that. Funky, funky bit of, uh, All right, do it like that. And as you can see, you're right on the edge. So lift it back. actually on there and I know still looks like it's right over that gasket but the door closes and pushes to here so it does actually fit in latch by the way uh, other tip don't drop any screws down this otherwise you'll be opening up this guy and trying to fish them out No, not from experience. Although, scared myself. <laughs> so, as you see, latches closed tight. Now, I can actually get the other wolf pack. Where'd you go? The other banged up wolf pack. Not in it, so it's not too heavy. two wolf packs I have a third wolf pack <laughs> uh, that was such a chore that was such a chore I'm not sure why uh, it's Sunday and that's better to do I already went I already went bonking around in the craggy wash um, It was raining, so I wanted to, I don't know, wanted, wanted to see if I'd get stuck. I don't know if I wanted to see if I'd get stuck. Um, I didn't. I didn't do anything too adventurous either. Anyway, uh, back to the wolf packs. All right, so we got wolf pack one, wolf pack two. Um, <sighs> do we do the third wolf pack? We know how we take care of our uh, our bathroom situation in the little lug of a loo that's currently in the back of my truck and covered with dust. Um, I don't know. I think for now, uh, might as well do it. 
Um, now that I kind of have a little bit more experience on getting the, if I can just get it up to this height, then I can put the other one in on the bottom. And the question that I kind of had for myself was, do I do that? And I think I do because I think I want to keep access to, um, as you guys that have expeditions know, the water pump is right there. Um, and when mine arrived, they had winterized it, and there's a little tube that, um, uh, there's a little valve that's connected to the pump, and it was opened to the winterized kind of siphon. You put the winterized hose, or you put the hose into the winterized stuff, and then you pump it into your system to winterize it. Um, and they had done that and they left the valve open. So when I went to flush everything, all I was doing was sucking air. So I had to actually, uh, take that panel off. It was really easy. It's just a little valve that needed to be turned the proper direction. Um, and then we were no longer sucking air. So there we go. Um, other mod we made had a little lock um to our propane tank um all right internet i know it's the only people that are really interested is probably the expedition 2.0 uh folks uh for or maybe an off-grid trailers might be interested i really wish they would put kind of more tutorials out to explain kind of best practices and how to get these shelves moved up and down. Um, again, where'd it go? Get this guy. It's a little craftsman. Come on, focus. Little craftsman quarter inch. It comes with a number of little screws. I think I have the packaging somewhere over here. Let's take a look. Um, well worth it. I bought two things. So here it is. Here's the Craftsman ratcheting offset screwdriver. Comes with a number of bits. You only need the one. Um, just in case, I did buy those two. Which... Probably just remaining in the package because apparently I wasn't sure this guy was going to be tough enough. Um, apparently it is. Um, Carson, not a sponsor, but I do have some of their other stuff. <sighs> not a sponsor. I don't like I monetize any of this. I don't. Um, all righty. Well, there you go. Um, let's shoot back out to the wide angle shot here. Um, there we go. We got our, our front runner. Wolf packs uh, installed. Our shelves level. As you can see, the the trailers all level. Both directions. Uh, maybe not completely. Oh, I'm on a lip there too. Um, yeah, a little. Not 100%, but it's cam trailer. Not doesn't need to be 100%. Although those OCD, OCD guys are probably not real pleased. Anyway, there we go. It's a little gap there. Might might be the right size for say like an ammo can. I think. Um, by the way, other thing, other thing to note. This shelf, you need to take. Both of those screws out, all the way out, the bracket all the way out, if you want to put it below this hinge because of the bolts that are right there. The bolts that are right there. So you want to, because it won't obviously go down. You can see I scratched mine up pretty, well, not pretty good, but I put a little scratch on it. Uh, trying to get... 
And that's because the time I thought about doing this, um, I thought about instead of having the gap up here and using this shelf up here, that I'd make a little gap here because then I wouldn't have those screws that I have to lip the wolf pack over. Um, but then, and, and I did that. <laughs> And then found out the hard way that, oh, well, then you can't get the second wolf pack on the top because of the angle that you have to go because of the way this is set up, the way the door is. So if you're going to do the two wolf packs, it has to be bottom and then middle and then leave the gap up here. Um, and yeah, that's... Uh, I don't know, I'm going to look at the, potentially the ammo cans. Um, maybe we'll do... This video's already going long. Maybe we'll do the other wolf pack on the bottom here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Thinking about it. Alrighty. Well, um, updates to follow. Again, kind of just putting it out there because I looked around and I couldn't find much on the old interwebs that uh, really kind of showed you kind of the nuts and bolts like I'm trying to do. So, oh, wow. Commotion in our neighborhood doesn't happen very often because uh, we're all getting it up here. Um, but yeah, there you go. The front runner. Oh, that's, always, that's interesting. Um, backwards. Vehicle outfitters. So the front runner install shelf adjustment. I'm gonna look into the anyway, can, maybe I can sand that out. I don't know. Gives it character. I'm I was kind of sad, but then when I saw how tough they were, I was like Sometimes it's not so bad to have the shiny rubbed off because uh, then you don't worry about it anymore, right? I don't want the shiny rubbed off too many things. I don't like the shiny rubbed off my truck. I don't want the shiny rubbed off my trailer, but apparently I'm okay with the shiny being rubbed off the wolf packs. Kind of in the name. Alrighty. Talk to you guys later.